Carolyn Hill, one of the most prolific backs in the history of the school. Uh, the selling point to him coming into the Mike Leach era was to get him ready for the NFL to catch a ton of passes out of the backfield. He did so for a few weeks for Mississippi State. Um, of course, it was, uh, for a number of reasons, a very chaotic season for programs across the country. Kylan Hill was very um, much involved in social justice, uh, decided to leave the team at some point in the season. Uh, running backs for 2021, uh, Daniel. Uh, yeah, the two main running backs from Mississippi State, uh, just like Will Rogers, we're going to be seeing a theme here. It's a pair of true freshmen from last season. Uh, Jaquavius Marks is the first one. He played in 11 games, and obviously, I mean, as you mentioned, the running back position usually is not a massive factor, at least on the ground in a Mike Leach offense. But as you mentioned, the receiving game is very important. But interestingly enough, in the last couple games of the season, Jaquavius Marks and I'll mention Dylan Johnson, another true freshman, they actually both got some pretty substantial um, number of carries, at least relative to a typical Mike Leach offense in their la in state's last two games against Missouri and Tulsa. But for the season, Jaquavius Marks had – uh, 70 rushing attempts for 312 yards and three touchdowns. Um, but 23 of those carries, 142 of those yards, and two of those touchdowns came in the last two games of the season. Now, 142 yards in two games isn't anything super impressive, but as I mentioned, it's a Mike Leach offense. That's a, Those are staggering numbers for a Mike Leach offense. And then yeah. I mentioned Dylan. I, I wonder ahead. if he took note of that, that, that he could run the ball effectively. They've got the personnel to do so against two pretty good opponents at the end of the year that um, they could maybe be a little bit more balanced this year. We'll, we'll see. I, I mean, that's, that's a, that was a massive talking point after those last two games. Missouri was a team that throughout the season had struggled mightily um, defensively against the run. And I think maybe, uh, but I'll say this, um, at least in the Tulsa, I mean, I'll talk about the Missouri game, but then I'll mention one specific play in the Tulsa game. But against, but uh, yeah, Missouri was a team who had struggled against the run. So I think maybe Mike Leach tested out Jaquavius Marks and Dylan Johnson a little bit just to test the waters. And once they were able to gain some traction on the ground, he stuck with it. But against Tulsa, there was one play in particular in which the quarterback, Will Rogers, who has who who is a little bit mobile but has not had it's, once again it's Mike Leach he's not going to run the ball that often he's able to scramble for about 12 yards uh, for a first down on a third and long and after that play we saw Mississippi State go to the ground frequently actually Will Rogers had I think a 13 yard touchdown run in that bowl game against Tulsa and um, I mean I mentioned the numbers that Jaquavius Marks had in those final two games Dylan Johnson who is the backup running back in that in those last two games had similar numbers in those last two games. For the season, he had 51 attempts, 225 yards, and four touchdowns. And looking at the receiving game, both uh, were critical in the receiving game. Marks had 60 receptions for 268 yards, and Johnson had 36 receptions for 157 yards. And since, uh, as you mentioned, Kylan Hill started a majority of the season, at least the first half of it, um, we're going to see those numbers rise significantly in 2021 between Marks and Johnson. And Daniel, I'm a bit of a stats nerd, so I notice things like this that uh, typical people don't don't notice this. So this is a bit disturbing. But to have two running backs average the same amount of yards per reception as they do yards gained on the ground per rush, that's not just a statistical anomaly and just rarity and oddity. It's just it shows you what happens in the Mike Leach passing game, where guys will catch out of the backfield. Uh, Texas Tech, Washington State, you can look at the stats. They'll catch like 90 passes, and they're almost like handoffs. They're like mm -hmm. four and a half yards per reception. That's that's not that infrequent out of his offense. And then on top of that, as you mentioned, Marks, you know, if this is a typical 13-game season with a bowl game, he's going to catch 75 to 80 passes. Absolutely. And, I mean, that's, that's exactly right. Um, pretty much if you take a total number, I remember a lot of uh, media media people people were talking about this uh, and talking about Kylan Hill going into 2020. He was a leading rusher in the SEC in 2019. And, you know, everyone was talking about, you know, Mississippi State's forever been accustomed to running the ball. That's sort of the Mississippi State way. And a lot of state fans were saying, you know, we need to, we you know, I'm worried about not running the ball. The thing with Mike Leach is you take the total number of rushes that someone like Kylan Hill has in a typical offense, you maybe cut half of those rushes in half and you give them receptions. That's pretty much what it is. And those receptions work 
as runs, you know, four to five yard, um, four to five yard completions. In the case of Kylan Hill week one against LSU, maybe he'll take one or two to the house, like a 75 yard touchdown run he had against, or excuse me, a 75 yard touchdown path catch against LSU. So you're exactly right. Those uh, receptions basically work in, uh, in replacement of those typical rushes in a typical offense.